For five centuries, it has taken a state to destroy another state. Every state knew that only its own people, perhaps, or some other state could remove it from power. Only states could keep armies in the field, sometimes for decades, master complex logistics, develop new military technologies, build complex alliances. Individuals and small groups couldn't do that then, and they can't now, but that won't last for long. I've just come from a meeting uh, in Washington uh, with a group talking about capabilities and intentions, the famous formula for, uh, for states in conflict. And I heard a wonderful paper by a, by a young professor on how to assess capabilities. Uh, and I said at the end of it, uh, it, it, it's a beautifully done paper, but it, it will soon be completely irrelevant because the capabilities assessments we are accustomed to depend upon just a few states being able to have the resources, the technology, the technocracy to build complex weapons. And that is rapidly changing. In rooms no larger than these rooms, and with many fewer people than are at this meeting, we'll be able to develop quite lethal weapons, biological weapons. If you go online right now, you can download the genome for the 1918 flu. That killed 50 million people in the early part of the century. You can download the genome for smallpox. Someone's even put the genome for polio up. At the same time, terrorism is becoming more warlike. <coughs> War is becoming more a matter of terror. Most of you will recall when General Franks uh, said that the uh, end of major combat operations had occurred in Iraq. At that time, we had lost 146 men and women. We've lost more than 4,000 since he said that. But was he, was he lying to us? No, he wasn't lying. He really believed it. Because he had a certain picture of warfare, a warfare that uh, could be summed up as you uh, occupy the enemy territory, you remove its political leadership, you capture its capital, the enemy army surrenders and disbands, it's over, right? No, that's not right, is it? That's a picture of warfare that uh, is more characteristic of 20th century warfare than of 21st century warfare. 